As the Delta variant continues to spread in Abilene, a concern has been the homeless population receiving their vaccines. I want to say more than 70% of those who have stayed with us have have taken it. Salvation Army Captain Joshua McCain says they have had vaccination clinics. And our guests and residents were able to receive their second dose. McCain says they've continued COVID-19 protocol in the shelter. Certainly taken safety precautions there, but now it's also led back led back to our house. McCain and his wife are fully vaccinated, but he's been concerned since his children are too young. Six, seven, and eight. To receive their shot. My children and my wife have all tested positive. So now McCain is balancing the stress of managing cases in the shelter. Right now it's leading from a distance. And his own home. And then trying to be, you know, a good father at the house as well as, you know, it has its challenges. Just days before school starts. My girls are completely asymptomatic. Um, my son and wife had uh, mild symptoms, but uh, they are they are recovering quite well. His kiddos will have a late start to the school year, but says his coworkers and friends have supported them through bringing groceries and even school supplies. I mean, school supplies uh, that have been dropped off, school clothes. It's been incredible. <laughs> That's been incredible. I've been humbled by that. McCain says the Salvation Army does not have any plans right now to require vaccines before coming to their shelter. In Abilene with coverage, you can count on Marley Capper, KTAB News.